Hey guys, this is Garrett from Lapis Laser Display, and today I'm going to talk about applying PangoScript onto the queues in your workspace to trigger changes in Beyond automatically. Um, so what do I mean by that? Uh, let's say you've got your page of queues, and in this example I'm just going to be using the boxes from the Beyond workspace. Let's say um, when you trigger your first queue, you want the global BPM to change to 128. So we can do this by adding Pango script onto the queue, onto the first queue here, to automatically change that BPM. So how do we do that? We're going to right click on the queue, go to queue properties, then we're going to go to the Pango script tab. And here you're going to see there are two places for adding Pango script. Uh, the queue start and the queue end. And it also says there is immediate execution, real-time priority, meaning that any of the script in these boxes is going to happen immediately upon either the start of the queue or the end of the queue. For this example, I'm going to use the queue start um, because when I click the queue, immediately when I click it, I want the BPM to change to 128. So I'm going to go to edit. And here you're going to see the Pango script editor. So the Pango script editor is um, really awesome in that it gives you all the commands by category. And writing script is actually really easy. You don't need to know any computer scripting languages uh, to be able to use Pango script because it's all pretty much done for you. Now, so in this example, we're going to be setting the BPM to 128. And I know that that's going to be under beat timer right here. So I'm going to hit the little plus symbol, and then I get a little list of uh, commands that I can use. And I want the set BPM value. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to double click on that. And you can see that the Pango script is automatically added into the Pango script editor box. Um, set BPM is, this, is the command and 120 is the parameter. Um, 120 is uh, where it's set now, but we actually want it to change to 128. So I'm gonna change this to 128, and then that's it. I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna close my queue properties. Now you'll see that when I click the first queue here, the global BPM is gonna change to 128. And it did. So you see how that's um, pretty amazing in that if you're mapping out a song or a show and you want certain things to happen as you click along your cues, PangoScript onto the queue is a really, really awesome way of doing that. Um, let's say you also wanted to uh, turn the transition on when you click this queue. So we could go back in here, queue properties, PangoScript, and we're going to keep with the queue start editor. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find uh, the transition on button and that is right here under transition enable transition. So I double click that. So now you see it says transition uh, which is my command and then toggle which is the parameter and over here it's actually going to show you that these are the the all the parameters you can use, on, off, or toggle. You also want to notice that uh, in the help menu, uh, it kind of changed over here and skipped to the transition part of the help menu, and it gives you some helpful little hints on what you need to do and how you need to use that. So this is also a really good place um, to go to. Uh, but we don't want transition toggle. We actually just want transition on. We want the transition to turn on when we click this. So I'm going to change that to on, and that's it. I'm going to click OK, close. So now we're already at 128 beats per minute. So when I click this again, that's not going to change. But you will see that when I click this cue again, the transition button is going to turn on. Boom. It, it turned on there for us. So. Um, like I said, this is a really awesome way of mapping out a song or a show um, that 
you can basically go along and add script to each one of your queues that will make these changes for you that so you don't actually have to remember to do all that. Um, so yeah, that's kind of my intro to Pango script. Um, you can see that, you know, just knowing how to use the Pango script editor will help you with um, adding Pango script things like the universe and doing your own MIDI mapping and stuff like that. So, um, and also when you're adding the script, you can just add whatever you want right below it um, by hitting enter and adding it there. Um, it doesn't matter what order it's in. Um, it's, uh, it's all pretty, pretty simplified. Thanks a lot.